Awe, I'm Curtis Bartis and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm just going to go over the full mobile application for Vala. Vala is similar to Luna where you could buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So today, I'm just going to go over the application. So if you're new to the channel, please do me the honor by subscribing. It takes you about three seconds to do so. Also leave a like and leave a comment because we almost at 100 subscribers and that helps a lot with the channel. So let's get right into today's video. So first, as you can see, it's the summary. You'll have three tabs at the bottom. You'll have your exchange, your market, your buy and sell, and your wallet. So let's just go over the top. As you can see at the top, you will see an icon. You will see this once you have signed up. With the Vala application, it's quite straightforward. It takes you about two to three minutes to sign up and create a profile on Vala. So you'll see your price alerts. As you can see, Curtis Bartis. You'll see your price alerts. This is similar to the one you did on Luno. So if you watch the Luno, this is if you have watched Luno, this will be straightforward on using the Vala application. It's quite similar to the previous one, but this one has unique features and it has better rewards. So you'll see price alert, we just create a price alert quickly. We create when Bitcoin hits, for example, 335. Wow, price has gone up quite significant in this couple of weeks. So let's just create a price alert. Sample, so when Bitcoin gets below that price, let's hit one when it's above. Sample straightforward. When it's above 325, I can see there's two price alerts. The one is below and above, straightforward. This you got your transactions. This is all the transactions you've done or I've done, but quick, also straightforward. This is your referrals. So this is the same, similar to Luno, but Vala's rewards is far better than Luno. Vala pays you when you make a maker, a 0.1% maker. So if you trade, they'll pay you for trading. Where Vala just where Luno just gives you a 25 when you deposit 500. So that makes Vala better in the rewards. So if you want to use my code, there's the code. I'll link it below. This is your preferences. You have your hide all balances, your zero balances, your cryptocurrencies. Here you got your bank accounts. This is where you add a new bank account when you deposit money. Not when you that you need to if you want to deposit money into Vala, you need to do that on your mob on your your online banking but when you want to deposit into your bank account this bank account you got your security your two-factor authentication very important I already explained this you got your unlock with fingerprint if your phone allows you to do that you got your help and support you got your block account and you got sign out okay so that's the exchange let's go to wallet as you can see here's the wallet see wallet has a compatible with your pro profile comparison where Luna doesn't do that, where they give you, show you 50% it's in ZAR, for 43% is in BTC, so that's quite a nice feature. As you can see, compared to Luna, Vala has way more cryptocurrencies on hand. Way more. Over, I'm not sure the amount, but as you can see, Luna only has 5 or 6. Vala has way more than, I think, 20. I'm not sure on the exact amount, but you can see. You got your but you dissolve you of you got your BTC your EAT, you got BAT, you got your dot, you got your cosmos, you got your link, you got your OMG, so OMG, so there's way more cryptocurrencies on hand. I'm just gonna go back into as you can see to deposit money into your wallet is the same as the Luna. You go into your ZAR wallet, you click on deposit. This is where you're going to deposit money into your Luno, your Vala account. I keep on saying Luno, Vala account. So you'll click what you want to transfer with the standard bank or you want to transfer with another bank. So if you're standard bank, you'll use the standard bank. If you're other bank, you'll use other bank. You'll say this is the, the deposit details where you'll deposit money into your Vala. So you'll say done and you'll, this is the details you click on your online banking. This right here on screen. Don't use your unique reference, it's quite important. You'll have your own unique reference. Don't use mine, you'll use yours. So that's how you deposit money into. If you want to withdraw money from your value, you'll click withdraw. And this is where you'll say how much you want to withdraw to the bank account you just added. Where you had your bank account. Okay, next we got the simple buy and sell. So you say you want to buy Bitcoin, for example. 
you can buy Bitcoin with ZAR. So it'll ask you how much you want to buy, 500 simple, and you'll say, then you'll be, this is the simple buy, this is not the exchange buy. Simple. Next, you got your market, and you can see here you got your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, and your XRP. So if you want to go to the Ethereum market, as you can see, there is a chart for Ethereum. Yeah, you got a chart for Bitcoin, and here you got the chart for XRP. If you go to ETH, you'll see this is all the cryptocurrencies you can buy with ETH. So if you want to go to BAT, you'll see the chart for the basic attention token. You'll see it for Bitcoin SV. I'm not sure what that is even. So you'll see all the cryptocurrencies. I'm not going to go into all of them. But that is the market. Next, we got the exchange. This is where you do your maker fee and not the taker. So your first exchange quite might look as the same. Like I said, if you did the Luno video, this will be simple. You'll see the body on top. You'll see your orders. You see your charts. You see the book. You see the history. So history is just all the transactions on the Vala app now. The book is all the open orders and open or sell and open buy orders on the exchange. This is the chart where you can see the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum or XRP. You'll see the line chart or candle chart. At the bottom you got your one day, one month, one week, three month, six months and one year. Let's keep it at one day. Next you got your orders. This is all the orders you have open and this is all your orders completed. Next you got your buy. So this is where you put a price of Bitcoin. For example, if we're going to do a maker in the market. So we want to buy Bitcoin at 300,000 for example. Make sure of the zeros, one, two, three. You want to use 50% of your current ZAR you have in your wallet. You'll place the order. And if you go to order, you'll see you have there's the open order we just placed. Now we want to open an uh, open sell order. You can see it's buy there on top. You'll click to sell. You only want to sell Bitcoin when it hits 320,000. Now you'll take how much you want of your BTC wallet. So you can't sell Bitcoin if you don't have Bitcoin, of course. We want to sell 50% of our holdings. So place sell order. And if you go back to your sell, you can see there's the open sell orders. You open buy order and you open sell order. And you can see this orders won't be filled unless Bitcoin hits. That's it. If it hits 320,000, it will sell. If it hits 300,000, we will buy. So this is called take maker in trading. It's not like I said in the Luno exchange version. So this is the same. But see if Bitcoin goes down, my buy order, my sell order will never be filled. That one of 320,000. But if Bitcoin goes up, the buy order will never be filled. So this is where a a taker comes in handy where you do a market buy and you that's where you buy at the market price so we'll go back into the buy one to do the market buy so like i said you'll see if you want to buy at the market price you want to buy 1000 you'll say you'll buy at the market price so you won't need to worry about your bitcoin getting full hitting a certain price you're buying at the current price so that's it so once again, that let's just go over it. Once again, you have your exchange, your market, your buy and sell, and you got your wallet. At the top, you got your settings, transaction preferences, exchange. Let's go over You have your charts, your book, your order, your buy and sell. You have your buy, your sell. And that's it. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the Vala. I'll do the one on the web-based application where there is more, a little bit more features on it. So, preferences, Luno or Vala, I'll do a video on that also if you want me to check what's the differences. Like I said, Vala has more rewards. The rewards are far better than Luno's and it has more cryptocurrency. So, you need to decide on which one. I'll I'll recommend doing both. If testing out, going over watching videos, doing more research on your own before making a decision on which platform to join. But both is good. That's a decision you have to make on your own. So, and also if you're new to the Valen about to sign up, use the link below in the description. That will give you a reward. Like I said, far better rewards than the Luna application. So, until next time, peace.